My name is William Dewey and I am the Managing Editor for MediaCals. Today I'm bringing you the review for Marble Pinball for the Xbox Arcade. Now one thing I want to say real quick is I'll be reviewing this game as a DLC. It was a DLC on the Xbox Live Arcade. It was a standalone game on the PlayStation Network. I played it on the Xbox Live Arcade and I'm glad I did because there were a lot of different features in the Xbox Live Arcade that, can, that were not present with the PlayStation Network game. A lot more support for the multiplayer, local and online, and it seemed like a little bit more kind of leaderboards within your own friends. Jump right off st stating that I don't know a lot about the Marvel Universe. I played, I've seen the recent movies involving Marvel characters, and I read a few comic books when I was younger, but other than that, it is very limited. I have played more pinball than my Marvel... I have more pinball experience than my Marvel Universe experience. Um, I played some at the old pizza place that I used to go to when I was younger, and then all the pinball games for the Windows, the kind of game that comes with the systems, I have played a lot of and enjoyed it. Now, this game was something that I kind of went into it thinking that it was going to be like a lot of the old pinball games. And it kind of disappointed it a little bit. It's not a game that I can recommend unless you're a huge fan of the Marvel franchise. Something that you notice right off the bat is there's no storyline to it, which, you know, let's face it, in a pinball game you're not going to have a lot of storyline. However, they have these little kind of mission battles that you have in, with each of the different tables. There's Wolverine, Blade, Iron Man, and Spider-Man. And these different missions would will task you with, usually the thing is to shoot the pinball up all the different lanes here in order to score uh, or to defeat the villain. Now, if you haven't played pinball before, especially on the Xbox or really anything else, it's going to be very difficult for you. Maybe you're a Marvel fan and you just wanted to try this out. The aiming is pretty hard. <laughs> I found myself a lot of times just doing the thing, the same thing over and over again. I would hit it up one lane and then the pinball would come back down and then I'd hit it up the same lane and just keep on doing that constantly to get the better score. They also have these little modes where occasionally your bumpers would get switched up. So like when you would use the right bumper, the left bumper would activate. And that really made you think about the game and think about what you're doing very carefully. And since pinball is such a split-second decision game, that a lot of times just it, you couldn't do that. So I just found myself constantly just spamming the bumpers, hoping that I'd hit the pinball back into play. The graphical style of the game, the way... Zen Studios presented the game and all the tables was great. They've done a very good job of adding, even in the background here, I don't know if you can see, but you can see a Spider-Man costume there. You have Peter Parker's camera along with a lot of his pictures. That was really cool. I liked how they just incorporated the whole universe into the table. It was very pleasing to look at and a lot of times just distracting. I would be looking at the table instead of focusing on the pinball because I just wanted to suck in all the details. As for the audio of it, I was actually pretty disappointed in the audio for Marvel Pinball because when I play a pinball game, I expect every single time you do something, you get this massive reward of sound that comes out that says, oh look, that's awesome, I just got to do that. There's some soundtracks, something that the characters will say, like Spider-Man will say to his enemies, or if you save the pinball, He'll, you know, say, oh, you know, caught by my lucky web or something like that. And although those were entertaining, it wasn't something that is in a normal pinball game. It's not something that I expected. Um, there's the there's like a classic kind of arcade sound in the background, a, a soundtrack that's being played constantly. It wasn't anything over the top, but, I mean, it did its job, I guess. The one thing that you see when you come back for pinball is you want to be able to come back to it time and time again and just be able to play it over and over again and have that need to want to come back. That need was not present with Marvel Pinball. If you're a Marvel fan, you probably want it a little bit more than me. You'd want to come back and play it, but for me, really, the only thing is, is the leaderboards, and since it's just... It, that's not something that motivated me enough to want to come back and constantly be playing this game over and over again. The multiplayer feature of it, playing local co-op and 
online co-op was actually kind of fun. I found myself constantly getting beat by players that are very experienced at pinball, and, I mean, they would pretty much, you know, waste me, but it was still a lot of fun, and the local co-op, if anything, I would come back to play that a little bit more. Now, I gave this game a 6 out of 10 because I felt that it wasn't anything that was over the top. It was better than normal. It was better than an average pinball game, but nothing that warranted something higher than, well, than a 6. And it's still a solid game. It's still a good game. Unless you're a huge Marvel fan, or I guess if you're just, if you know a lot about Marvel and you're interested in learning a little bit more, it'd be a game to get from you. It's not going to teach you anything, but it was fun if you know about the characters. Like the Spider-Man map, I had a lot of fun on because I knew more about Spider-Man. So that's the review for Marvel Pinball, and uh, check it out if you're a Marvel fan. Remember, 6 out of 10.